when we decided to move beyond the CPWG and to create something that was a bit broader, more permanent, less linked to the cluster system which comes and goes. Um, it was a very, very nerve-wracking moment, but it was very exciting as well. And we felt that we were shaking things up a bit, which was probably what we needed. My son was born just before the launch of the Alliance, almost five years ago. And he has now allowed me to borrow five of his guinea fowl feathers to celebrate the occasion of the fifth anniversary of the Alliance. When I first joined the Alliance five years ago, I had no idea what to expect. I wasn't sure if we were going to succeed or fail, but every year has been a pleasant surprise. Every year we have achieved more together. I truly believe the success of the Alliance is due to all of you, the child protection community. And I really believe that if we continue listening to you and be open to, to the input that you provide to us, we will continue being a successful Alliance. The Alliance is yours. The spirit of the child protection working group of everyone just dropping their agency hats just to support the sector and make things work, that continued to be the glue during the whole transition phase and the years after the launch. But also the fact that we were once one entity under the Child Protection Working Group to help create a really strong sense of connection and belonging between the Child Protection AOR and the Alliance. If there is a tendency to overpromise and under-deliver, the Alliance is the opposite of that. You've lived up to and far beyond the expectation and made child protection and humanitarian action a place of learning and excellence and action and aspiration and I, I hope you go on and on forever and ever and, and I hope you celebrate and I wish I was there to celebrate with you so. Donc notre engagement dans les task force se situe au niveau de notre adhésion dans les groupes de référence. En tant que tel, nous avons contribué dans l'élaboration de la note technique, élaborée sur base des leçons apprises et de bonnes pratiques, dans le but d'appuyer les APE qui travaillent avec les filles anciennement associées aux groupes armés. Since INEE and the Alliance held their first roundtable together in Nairobi, Kenya, back in 2018, we continue to see our collaboration and partnership develop. This work has been critical for bringing our sectors together and has included, among many things, having a technical focal point position that liaises between the network and the Alliance, joint partnership efforts, webinars, a collaborative technical guidance note, along with continued technical cooperation. My hope is that as you mark your fifth anniversary, there is the chance to gather, learn, and support each other, while also renewing our commitment to continued partnership and collaboration. Together, we are stronger as a result. One of the things is to say thank you. Really, uh, I've loved the willingness and the ownership of members. Really, members have owned the alliance. In whatever we have done, I've seen the willingness and ownership. Everything we do, every task, there is love and willingness to push this work forward. The revision process for the CPMS ran from 2017 to 2019 when we launched the new edition. It was an incredibly exhilarating time. Almost 2,000 people participated in consultations around the world. They all wanted to be part of this incredibly important document that we should be proud of as an alliance. We facilitated a serial consultative work in a participatory and inclusive manner by getting all national child protection related stakeholders input in it. It has been an amazing journey and privilege for Plan International to co-lead the Alliance during a period that the Alliance has gone through so many changes. 
Over the last few years, the Alliance has significantly grown as a network, has expanded its membership and increased its visibility. And it has also played a crucial leadership role in response to the COVID-19 pandemic by supporting child protection practitioners who were looking for guidance and examples of program adaptation. The Alliance has an exciting new chapter ahead and from all of us at Plan International, we look forward to being part of it and contributing our own experience and lessons. So first of all, we like use the technical note to uh, uh, to build our response and contingency plans for uh, protecting children uh, in this emergency. It also helped us to achieve a better quality when it comes to um, mainstreaming of child protection uh, into other uh, sectors, especially uh, uh, health and education. And another annex is uh, protecting protecting children uh, from violence, abuse, and, and neglect in home. Um, this was very useful. We've used it to design a special tool to help us absorb the trends of violence that would emerge in the community uh, and the purpose of that so we can uh, take those concerns and uh, just mainstream them into our uh, activities like uh, case management, PSS, uh, education, awareness raising and, and helplines. UNICEF is a proud member of the Alliance. We are also honored to share the leadership role for this large, growing, and influential network of child protection practitioners, a role that we share with Plan International and starting next year with World Vision. But it's truly the commitment of all of its members that leads to the Alliance's success and value to child protection practitioners everywhere. We're excited at UNICEF about the Alliance's new strategy and its focus on prevention, which is very timely. We can do more together. At World Vision, we are honored and extremely excited to take on the co-leadership of the Alliance with UNICEF when a new strategic cycle is on the horizon. We are especially thankful to the colleagues of Plan International from whom we are taking the baton. We will build on the great work they have done during these challenging times we have gone through in the last two years, with one of the worst global crises still not over and the chronic lack of funds to resource child protection in humanitarian responses. We will work hand in hand with everybody to realize the vision of the new strategy, but especially with the colleagues that are at the forefront of the humanitarian responses to prevent violence, abuse and neglect of children while advancing their right to be protected and to participate in all the decisions that concern them.